The spy chief of government in charge of the internal security organization apparatus of the state, Brigadier General Ronnie Balia, who spilled the beans into the long-time internal big rank about the underfunding of ISO that holds accounted for low morale of GISO and PISO intelligence operatives charged with the responsibility of generating primary sensitive intelligence information of the state. Most of the GISOs are on foot. Most of the DISOs are on foot. So it's a big challenge that must be addressed. And we get very little money for capital development. 600 million, 600 million, what can you do with 600 million, Honorable Chair? The whole year, from January to December, they give you 600 million. You go and build offices, go and buy technical equipment, go and buy vehicles, go and buy motorcycles, go and 600 million. And we buy only four vehicles using that money. Brigadier General Balia's revelations are falls on the heels of reports that the initial budget of ISO and ESO was slashed and averted to Uganda police, an issue that many security analysts think has accounted for a lot of security lacunas in the security fabric of the state at the expense of lavish expenditure of some security personnel in the Uganda police force. The small budget of 600 million shillings allocated to ISO, Brigadier General Ronnie Balia says it's becoming difficult to run the over 200 intelligence units of ISO across the country. I have over 200 stations of country, border stations, districts, regions, sub-counties, they're over 1,400. So how many years am I going to take? to buy vehicles and motorcycles for all these stations on our chair. If I'm buying four per year, how many years? Until Jesus comes back. Four years, four years. No, four vehicles per year. Four vehicles per year. By the time you finish buying for, for, for 20, the others are getting old. So really it is, it is a sad situation. But initially, what was the size of ISO compared to the current figure? This ISO started as a small organization. I think we're about 30 people. But now we're about 3,000 on every chair. Because the population has also grown and the threats have gone up, the challenges have gone up. So we need really to, 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 handle, to handle the issue of, of facilitation. Brigadier General Ronnie Balia also revealed to the probing Presidential Committee of Parliament that government last procured communication equipment to ESO in 1987, which apparently are obsolete. This to Brigadier Balia is dangerous to the state intelligence information. So now we communicate using phones. <laughs> uh, Uganda is the only country where intelligence communicates using phones. Can you imagine? How, how can you communicate intelligence using phone? Brigadier General Balia revealed that the underfunding of ESO for the last 15 years rotates around intrigue and conflict of interest among state intelligence agencies as well as undermining him. Because they don't put on uniform like the army and the police. So I'm, I'm not visible. <laughs> Those who are visible are the ones who are given more. <laughs> Away from this, Brigadier General Balia also stressed that the mobility of ESO operatives has been complicated by the inability of the state to buy motorcycles for the operatives to ease their work. They last uh, bought for us motor vehicles in 1994. Maruti, 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 you remember it, Honorable Chair? That's why we're telling you, Honorable Chair. And we have been talking for the last 20 years. Now the situation has not changed. So what helps? What will help us? So I'm giving you examples. If you really, 600 million is nothing. And we have been having this money every year, every year, for 15 years. No change. No change.
So really, you need, you need to do more, invest more in this, in this organization, because we handle many threats, we handle many challenges, we are the eyes and ears of government, we should not be ignored. However, Brigadier General Balia was also pinned to preside over a situated organ of the state that uses vehicles that are not numbered, neither identified. These two MPs have seen many thugs in the city taking advantage of these to impersonate our ISO operatives. All ISO vehicles are registered either as UC or with civilian numbers. And these numbers are known to Uganda Revenue Authority and Ministry of Works and Transport. So if there are any people using numberless vehicles, they should be arrested and put in prison. Now this may be the situation at hand. Brigadier General Ronnie Balia claims ISO is in place by the Act of Parliament. ISO and ESO are legal organizations. We are not like General Service Unit of Obote One, State Research Bureau of Idi Amin, or NASA of Obote Two. Th those who are operating illegally, those who are operating illegally, but internal security organization and the external security organization, these are legally put in place by the Constitution, by an act of parliament, and, it, and they have clear terms and conditions of service. So we have a legal mandate to operate. We don't have to hide. We don't hide. We are public officers. Even myself, I'm a public officer. I don't hide, like, like those are right here, hiding. Even our DISOs are public officers. Even the GISOs are public officers. Timothy Sibasi, Vista Parliament.